YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and in today's Photoshop CC tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace color. Uh, you can do this outside of Photoshop CC in any modern version of Photoshop. I'm going to start with showing you the traditional way to replace color in um, an image using the color replace tool first and then I'll show you how to do it non-destructively. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is go to your menu, go to image adjustments replace color once you've done that you're going to actually use the um, eyedropper tool that it gives you to select the color you want to replace now when you have multiple um, variants of a color in an image that you want to replace like we do on our race car here you will want to hold down the shift key and you will want to select the portions that you want and you can use the alt key to subtract things from your selection so you could go ahead and I usually start with subtracting all the colors I know I'm not going to want first. Then I hold Alt and I click on the colors of the object that I do want to make our selection for. Now in the um, navigation panel on the right you can see that what we're selecting is showing up in white similar to when we use our masking. And that's actually going to be very important so you want to use that as your guide when making your selections here. Once you've selected what you want you can use the hue slider and saturation slider to adjust the color and to replace it to uh, whatever you like, whatever you feel uh, looks good. And if you don't like what that's coming out like, you can always go back and make a more refined selection and you can do that. Now, this will generally work and this is how you replace the color on t-shirts and things like that. But I feel that this method is less precise than the method that I'm going to show you here in a minute. It's also, um, a destructive method since we're actually editing the pixels on the image so I'm going to show you what I think is a better way to um, handle this but for general purposes and for something quick this will work and this is the way people have been doing um, color replacement in Photoshop for a while but again I don't like this particular method it works well enough and you know you can see how that came out but I'm going to show you how to do this non destructively by using whatever selection method you like. In our case, we're going to use the quick select tool. And then we're going to actually use an adjustment layer so that we can turn this effect off and so we can change it and control it to what we want. So I'm just gonna make a quick selection here. You don't need to see um, me go through and work um, this whole thing out. But I use the quick select tool. Now I just go ahead and, with my selection and do a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And then I affect it here on the sliders. Now you can use whatever selection method you want. You can use the pen tool, you can paint it, what have you. But once I've made the selection, you can see that on the hue and saturation layer that we've made, we've got a mask. And that means that we can also control um, and refine this selection anytime we want by painting away on the mask. But we can also go in here to the sliders for hue, saturation, and lightness, and we can change the color to whatever we want. And we can keep doing that. We can keep um, doing it to our heart's content and we still preserve the details of the original image and it's no problem. And as I said, if the selection isn't perfect, we can always go back and we can always paint it in and do whatever we need to. So this is um, one of the quickest methods for um, doing color replacement in Photoshop and this is how you would do that non-destructively. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube tutorial. This was another short one, um, nothing super elaborate. Um, like, subscribe if you like the video, um, and I guess I'll see you guys on next week's Photoshop CC tutorial.